Well, hello there, St. Luke's. Good to be back with you all for this midweek message. A lot going on here at St. Luke's. Uh, It's a great joy. We are sitting here Thursday morning, having finished the second of our 10-week study um, this fall, at least, on the Book of Romans. Uh, Another good turnout. We've had some, uh, the logistics are working out. Thank you, thank you for all the volunteers. The food has been delicious. The small groups are being edifying and um, life is uh, abundant here uh, at St. Luke's right now, and we're so grateful for that. So, um, you know, speaking of abundance and life, uh, we have been running around, your staff uh, and I, working with the vestry, putting together our budget for next year, which you'll hear more about. But um, suffice it to say, it's actually quite an exciting time, because just like a, a family budget represents sort of your interests and your um, uh, the things that you emphasize and value, well, so, as we often say, the, the family is a small church and the church is a large family so we also um, our budget reflects the same thing the various commitments we have to mission to evangelism to discipleship to outreach to to all the various commitments uh, that the Lord is, has drawn us to here are reflected in our budget and in our budgeting process so in discussions with with all the various um, ministers on staff and the different um, uh, committees. It's it's quite an exciting time. So I'm just reminded as Jesus in the Sermon on the Mount, you know, when he famously says um, that uh, do do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth. This is in Matthew 6, 19, where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. And then he says in Luke 6, 21, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Well, that is just a truism. That is true. Where you put your treasure, your time, energy, and talent, these valuable things that we have, that is a reflection of where your heart is. And so uh, we'll be talking more about this. Stay tuned. You know, it's that time of year uh, as we get geared up for the fall, for Stewardship Sunday coming up in November, as we look towards our budgeting for 2024. It's with great excitement and um, expectant hope that the Lord will continue to lead and guide us here as we do um, the work of ministry He has put before us here um, on Hilton Head. Okay. Well, to that end, I've got a special announcement for you from Patrick, our curate for youth and family, uh, that will go right here. Take it away, Patrick. Patrick. Well, good afternoon, everyone. I just had to interrupt JD's midweek message because I know that not only do you guys miss me so much on here, but because I have a favor to ask of all of you. So Fellowship, the weekly gathering of all of our students here on Sunday evenings, um, has just kicked off two weeks ago and is going far better than I could have expected, which I'm so grateful to the Lord for. But we need people to sign up on our meal train account uh, to prepare and bring meals for our students. We do this so that we're not eating cheese pizza every week for the remainder of the school year. So all of you out there that are blessed with the gift of cooking or or have that talent, which I personally do not, uh, please register to make a meal for our students. Um, A hot cooked meal is always better than an ordered takeout meal. We all know that. Um, And so if you do have that that talent, uh, please register. If you know of somebody with that talent, encourage them to register to bring a meal uh, to fellowship on Sunday evenings. So at the link below, um, if you go there, you'll see all the information about um, how to prepare the meal or how to bring it, um, what the requirements are, which are very minimal. um, And they'll answer all the questions that you may have. But if you have any, uh, that may not be answered from uh, that link, please just give me a call, shoot me an email, or, or just get a hold of me on Sunday. Uh, it's very, very minimalistic on that link, and so don't, don't worry. We're not requesting filet mignon, sushi, although if you would love to, we'll gladly accept. So that's all I have for you. So I, I guess I'll, I'll hand it back over to JD. God bless. All right. Well, now you heard it from Patrick. So please uh, prayerfully consider helping out and joining in with him as we um, as we continue to minister to the youth here um, at our fair church. Okay, so a couple of other announcements. Uh, we are looking for uh, volunteers for two new uh, two different things. Um, one is uh, we are looking to expand the reach and the numbers of our lay Eucharistic ministry. If you're not aware of what this is, this is a ministry that we have where after the 8 o'clock service, we take consecrated elements, some bread and wine, 
um, and we go visit the people who are, for whatever reason, were not able to come to church, who are at the various um, um, uh, living facilities around the island. And so we are looking for some people to join with us so we can expand and per- perpetuate this ministry. And our new uh, associate, Kelly, um, uh, Kelly O'Lear, is more than happy to train you in this. And so we are um, if you are feeling led by the Holy Spirit to join in this ministry, well, then please contact us at the office because we'd love to talk to you more about it. We will train you. We will equip you. We will give you the um, copy of the sermon that you can work from. And it, it's just a wonderful, wonderful, meaningful ministry. And if you've ever been the recipient of a of a visit from the church um, at a time of need in your life, you know how, how poignant that can be. And so please consider uh, we're having a training on Thursday, October 5th at 1130. But before then, we need uh, to gauge some interest. So please contact us if you are feeling led to participate in our lay Eucharistic ministries. Also, we have another need, uh, and this is a a, a personal, (laughs) I'm personally affected by this as well, because we need help in the nursery. We are in search of some nursery volunteers. This can be a single person, a couple. Um, We don't really, uh, you know, we'll train you and, 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 and prepare you but we um, are, have a wonderful problem of a growing nursery. And so I have two little problems, uh, <laughs> two little ones that are about two feet tall, um, who, would, uh, who I would love to uh, see um, taken care of during the service in a loving and, and a wonderful way. Um, and I'm not alone. And so we are hoping that the more volunteers we have, uh, we can have, you know, the, you wouldn't have to do this in perpetuity. This could be a once a month thing, once every six weeks. Um, but we are looking for some people to help. I know. Um, and so some of you, please prayerfully consider um, joining with us. We're going to uh, make it so that you can at least hear this, the sermon in the service, not see. I believe we're taking, um, uh, we're, we're going to work out how to get a video in, in, into the nursery. But, um, but we need your help. So please consider uh, joining our volunteer team for the nursery. Okay, last two announcements here are not about um, uh, sort of asking you to volunteer for anything. So if you stayed this far, great. Um, we are Israel bus for next October. Our second bus is filling up. So if you have been waiting to reserve your spot, this is the time. This is not the final time, but it is it is getting to that final time. So our second Israel bus is filling up. Uh, please consider, if you're coming, uh, letting us know so that we can begin to make arrangements um, for uh, the people that are going. Also, on uh, Sunday, October 4th at 4.30 in the afternoon, we are going to celebrate St. Francis Day by having a, uh, sorry, excuse me, October 1st. October 1st, Sunday, October 1st, we are going to have a blessing of the animals in observance of the feast day of St. Francis, uh, which will be at 4.30 p.m. So go ahead and prepare yourself to bring your beloved pet, and we will give thanks to the Lord for the goodness of his creation, and in particular, um, the blessing of the animals that we give us such uh, joy and laughter and companionship. So that is Sunday, October 1st at 4.30 p.m. Well, finally, I should say thank you to all of you who have weathered the various changes we have all undergone this past year with such grace and such um, sort of Christian charity. It's been a great, as I said a couple of weeks ago, it's been wonderful to behold. And in particular, this past week, as we added music to the 8 o'clock service and we moved the 1030 service, I mean the 10 o'clock service back to 1030. And so thank you for bearing with us as we work out some of the details. One of the details that we have worked out after this first run is that we are moving the Rector's Forum to 930. So you will have some space between the 8 o'clock, if you come to that, to get some coffee, get some water, and to fellowship with the person whose name you know, because they are wearing their name tag, um, between the two services uh, before the Rector's Forum. So the Rector's Forum will start promptly at 9.30 and will end promptly at 10.15, and that will give you some time between the Rector's Forum and the Sunday School for the Children to uh, make your way to the 10.30, if that's the service you're attending, or to simply go off... um, and enjoy your Sunday. So that's the service times. 8 o'clock traditional with hymns and hymnal. 9.30 will be the uh, rector's forum at this point and the uh, the children's uh, Sunday school. Nine, uh, 10.15 will be the hard stop for that. And 10.30 will be our, as we call, blended service, which is a mixture of contemporary music and hymns. Okay. 
Well, there's a lot more to be said. Uh, I won't say it here, but check out for your e-zine, if your email. If you're not on the email list, then let us know. We'd be happy to uh, put you on there. And um, I should say uh, it's a great joy to be here during this season of excitement and growth and activity. And continue to pray for St. Luke's, pray for the leadership, pray for our diocese, our church, for the world for that matter. And um, until we see you on Sunday, uh, take care and God bless. All right.